first off, and if you did want to just skip this part, you don't have to listen to it. Um, but first off, this is not made for kids. Because, frankly, kids are probably too st stupid to... Okay, not stupid. They're too young to understand or critically think about the questions or the question posed in this. And none of the random things to think about things are for kids because these might include some deep thought-provoking topics that kids can't understand. Now Copa puts it at 13 so yeah I don't know if that is some I guess some 13 year olds may be able to understand some of these questions in this series but whatever now if you skipped welcome back or you just clicked off the video in the beginning whatever but see there are 50 stars representing 50 states some of those states well, some people from some of those states don't want to be there. This is the premise for the question, by the way. Um, so, like, Hawaii, some Hawaiians think the 50th one, like, right there, let's just say, doesn't want to be a part of the United States because it says its overthrow was illegal even though there were Hawaiian citizens that did it and was like a republic for a while the United States didn't even want to annex it but whatever they they think it's illegal that the United States is occupying it militarily and their culture is being oppressed or something. Probably just made a bunch of Hawaii independent activists mad. Oh well. Can't do, can't spend too long on the internet without making someone mad. Anyway, um, the, but, yeah, but just, Hawaii's been a country before. It knows what it's doing. It could do it. It won't be a major nation, and China may try to gobble it up. But other than that, it could. Then there's Alaska independence, which is questionable, too, because it's kind of up there and cold and low population, so spread out. Could it? do much? I guess it does have a lot of resources, but then there's also the question, will Russia want its previous territory back? And that quite answer is probably no, because Russia more wants a rolling seaport than another frozen land, or Siberia 2.0. <laughs> um, then there's Oregon washing with the Cascadia thing. And if you don't believe me on any of the things, just look it up Hawaiian independence, Alaska independence, Oregon, Cascadia independence. Just look it up. Don't say I'm lying. Just look it up. Get, go to Google. Stop being lazy. But anyway, um, then there's, oh yeah, California was threatening independence for a while, but. Eh, eh, Actually, could conceivably do it, but for how long would it survive? Same thing with Texas. Eh. But then there's one that makes no sense whatsoever: the 14th state to ever join the Union, Vermont. Now, this is the question. There's a lot of independence movements around the world, more than just in the United States of America from Indian or Native American groups that also think they deserve independence for whatever reason. But that's not the point. The question is what 
independence group or movement and if you don't know any just do your own research and find one do you think it's it's kind of nonsensical. Other words, the country, if it, the area or thing, if it was independence, would just fall flat on its face, or like the reason for independence is wishwashy at best. Like, oh, the, they are oppressing. It. Like, no, they're not. Or like, oh, this or that. Or we, if it's illegal or some, you know, it's just this contrived thing that doesn't make sense for history or a lot of other reasons. Or, oh, independence from one nation only to get, you know, conquered or swallowed up or be part of another nation that they didn't really want to be a part of because they wanted independence. Um... Yeah, what, or whatever reason you can come up with, what independence movement do you think is the worst? For me, I know it's small, but Vermont. Yeah, Vermont has an independence movement. Why? I do not know. And it's like, I never heard of this. My friend, me and my friends don't want independence. Well, have you asked everyone in Vermont? Actually, yeah, you probably should do that. That won't be very hard for well, how small your population is. And that's my first point. Vermont is such a small, small state. How it's too small. Also, it's population in land area. You're more likely to see someone from North Dakota than Vermont. Unless you, like, you know, live around Vermont or in Vermont. Then, uh, yeah. But still, Vermont is empty. And plus, it's landlocked. It has to go through two nations. Two friendly nations, maybe. And we'll have to go through either Canada or the United States to get to the ocean. Landlocked usually doesn't bring good things. Except in very few situations. <laughs> it's where it's resources. Besides Bernie Sanders. Ice cream and maple syrup. Trees? We can get that out of places. Only real two countries that don't have much interactions with or capabilities of interaction with it's the United States and Canada it must always keep close diplomatic ties with at least one of those two because either if it loses with both they could easily cut off its access to the outside world so yes what independence movement do you think is the worst for whatever reason you can come up with that just won't work its logic behind it is faulty or any other reason where do you hear someone crying for independence where and you just think it won't work and I don't care how small it is because, honestly, no state wants independence. Very few regions and people groups actually do want independence. That's why every time someone brings it up, it's like, I don't want independence. My friends don't. No one I know does. Well, there are people who do. Just because you don't and everyone around you doesn't, doesn't mean someone does. So, just if you think I said anything wrong in here about a state wanting independence go and google it yourself and don't just say I'm lying but anyway just yeah but what independence movement do you just do a go ask and why why does it exist that's the question I know this is going to get controversial I don't care. But 
Anyway, goodbye.